much patience, which looks like passivity, almost looks like a complete lack of courage, <laughs> right? Cowardice is you're just don't, you don't act because you're too afraid. Um, and vice versa, that maybe too much courage starts to look like the complete absence of patience. So too much courage, recklessness. Oh, that's also when we don't have courage, that these might have this counterbalancing function and that as we think about cultivating virtues, we really need to make sure that we are cultivating both patience and courage in tandem. And what we have in our data, we show that when you have both of those, <laughs> you avoid these vices of passivity and recklessness. But when you have an imbalance and have one strong and not the other, you start to see problems emerge, <laughs> that you start to see passivity popping up or recklessness. And so when we think about working towards justice, we really want to think about having strong patience and courage. And then that phrenesis that we're always talking about, this kind of wisdom, when people have both of those, they're able to actually act wisely in a particular situation <laughs> to know, should I speak? Should I even yell at this moment? That might actually be the best action. Or should I hold off <laughs> and wait it out. And you can't really get there of doing the wise thing unless you have both of these because they kind of the yin and yang, they balance each other. And we need to have both courage and patience in order to be pursuing kind of this slow roll road and towards justice, um, especially at a broader societal level that things don't always move fast. And I mean, MLK really talked about this quite a lot, like letter to Birmingham Jet, like sometimes he talked about patience, but he also talked about too much patience is a problem. Um, and I think it's also a really key thing <laughs> that I'm always pushing is that we cannot weaponize patience in particular. We should never be demanding patience of others. <laughs> that often is a real signal that something's awry <laughs> when we're like, oh, you need to be patient. No, no, no. It's thinking about me <laughs> and when do I need to be patient versus be courageous. And anytime I see someone demanding patience from another group, I'm quite suspicious that they don't really want patience. They want passivity and are trying to just push someone down. <laughs>